Also tonight, the details surrounding the death of former Titans kicker Rob Baronis are only getting more confusing. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is live in our newsroom. Todd, we've heard about some erratic behavior since the start, but now we're hearing from his wife. Yeah, and her account isn't adding much clarity either. She says that she that uh, Barone is just up and left their house. Now, last night at 10 o'clock, we played some 911 tapes for you from people who were on scene of the crash. They say even then, Baronis was acting erratic and almost mean, so still no answers. From the moment we saw Rob Barona's SUV being pulled from the ditch, there were plenty of questions. And as we got closer, the white SUV took off extremely fast. And the more we hear, the more questions we have. He came home and <clears throat> we were watching a movie and then he just left. No argument, no nothing, he just left. Okay. He was, <clears throat> I had a girlfriend over and then I turned around and he was, he was gone. That was Rob's wife, Rachel Bradshaw, calling 911. She has said he left at either 9.40 or 10.30 at night. Minutes later, a Belmont student called 911 saying an SUV matching Barona's was trying to run him off the road. Um, we're approaching Wedgwood. Um, there's a white SUV behind us, and he's literally trying to hit us right now. Um, we pulled next to him at a stoplight, and um, I told him that something was burning in his exhaust, and he called us and he's following us right now. Um, he's been swerving all over the road. Plenty of people saw it. From where we saw the white SUV, considering how fast he was driving and where he actually crashed, we probably saw that maybe 20 to 30 seconds before he actually crashed. But still, no one knows why the former Titans kicker may have acted so erratically before his death. So at the time of those 911 calls, no one knew that it was actually Baronis, but Metro Police do believe that all those separate reports are linked. Jessica. All right, Todd. Well, we do know that the visitation is set for tomorrow night and Rob Baronis' funeral will be held on Thursday.